Hi, my name is Joanna Boyette. I just want to introduce you to Math 108 Online and get you all ready to take um, this course. So um, the first thing I would say is we use Blackboard to facilitate our course. So you need to log into um, mymason.gmu.edu with your login information and then you go to courses and you should see Math 108 DL1 and you can click there and this should be the first page that pops up a little introduction about myself and then it has a link for the syllabus and I have a this video about course policies um, the other thing, so let me just, when you come in, you're under this, but a lot of the Blackboard um, links are, main links are over here to the left. So you'll see, let me turn in, um, so this is what you should see. You're under Start Here, so even if I click on Start Here, it will take me right back to this page here. And then you'll see the second pane to the left lets you scroll through kind of the different modules under here. So here I have a little welcome. When I click down to doing well in online math, there's a little bit of information about kind of how to do well in this class. A few tips from me. Mostly about allocating enough time, not getting behind, taking notes, things of that nature. Okay, most of the stuff about doing well in this course is staying on top of tasks and also seeking help when you need it. So you can go through these, check your tech, talks about what technical requirements we need in the class. It's really minimal and a lot of people don't have to download or install anything. And then the next part that you need to do under before class starts goes through kind of these next things. We'll use an XYZ homework system. This is the homework system that comes with your book. It's a uh, another website, so it talks about how to register there. And our course ID for this course is right there as well. Okay, so you can read that. That's in under, he under start here. Um, we also each week have um, written work and the instructions are here and then there's a sign up for Piazza. So maybe let me take you to the syllabus real quick and then um, let's see. I lost my syllabus. Sorry about that. So here is the syllabus for this course. Let me blow it up a little bit. So this is Introductory Calculus. My name is Joanna Boyette. Uh, business Calculus, so for IT and business majors. Um, and it has my information there. I'm in Exploratory Hall, my email address, my office phone number, which I typically am, do not am not in my office a lot. You'll have much better success trying me on my cell. I just ask that you be respectful of the time limitations there. Um, or you can text me on my cell. That's fine. Um, usually I don't respond to long texts like how do you do problem 25 on my cell, but quick little things or send me an email. My office hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 12 to 1 p.m. Um, so each day 12 to 1 p.m. and also I offer hours by appointment so please don't let the if your schedule conflicts with these please just set up a time to get together with me I do that all the time with students um, we do go over elementary calculus mostly derivatives we touch on a little bit of um, integrals this is called an online asynchronous course which means we don't typically meet together there are four exams, three proctored exams, and one final exams. Uh, those are proctored, so I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, this course does meet the quantitative reasoning requirement for George Mason, and we have some things that we have to accomplish because of that, and a lot of things that we get to accomplish in calculus. 
there is a book required for this course new it's sixty eight dollars which is one of the cheapest math books on the market new so you can get that for sixty eight dollars you get a hard copy of the book and the XYZ homework code or you can buy an access code only which gives you an e-copy of the book um, and XYZ homework access for thirty bucks okay uh, you can use a scientific calculator, a TI-83 or 84. There are some calculators that aren't allowed in this class. Take a look at that list and make sure that you have an appropriate calculator. Um, so there are all some other things. I mean, this is an online course, so you need access to a computer connected to the Internet. Um, I suggest you have high-speed Internet. Um, I have a ton of YouTube videos. Um, you have to be able to get into Blackboard, you have to be able to check your GMU email, and you have to be able to watch YouTube videos. Okay. Um, please be aware, all exams are proctored in this course. You do not take exams in your home. You have to either come to the George Mason Fairfax campus, or you have to find an approved proctoring facility near you. If you are not near the George Mason campus this fall, then please get in touch with me as soon as possible so we can work on getting an approved proctor for you. Okay? Exam dates September 18th, October 23rd, and December 2nd. Those will not change. Um, and we'll talk about exam protocol a little bit later. The final exam is also proctored somewhere during exam period, but the registrar doesn't let me schedule it until after classes start. Okay. In this class, I there are three tests. Each week you have an XYZ homework check in the XYZ homework. You have an online discussion that's due, and you have written problems that you turn in to me. Okay. So each test is for 15%, including the final exam, written problems 15%, online discussion 15%, and the XYZ homework checks are 10%. And then I follow a pretty standard um, breakdown. I don't curve grades, so whatever you get is what you get. Um, okay, so the course works on a pretty typical schedule. Each week I list YouTube videos for you to watch and homework problems out of the book for you to work. These assigned problems are not graded and I do not collect them. Um, but if you are not doing the homework problems, you will not be learning the material in the class. Okay? Graded assignments in this course are the XYZ homework assignments. This There's stuff here about how to use it and again in the blackboard shell under week zero the start here the most important thing that you might want to note is hooks YC homework checks are due Saturdays at 11:59 p.m. you may rework the problems as many times as you like you can click there's a button to click rework so you can if you want to work at it you can get a perfect score on XYZ homework checks um, so, but that all has to, all that rework has to be done by Saturday at 11:59. I don't accept late assignments. I don't care what happened. Okay. If you're in the hospital for three weeks, then we talk about how to help you make up that work. Um, otherwise, because you have such a long period to be completing assignments, I expect you to manage your own time. Okay. So, no late assignments are accepted. XYZ homework assignments do remain open after the due date so you can use them to review for exams if you want but your exam your grade on those don't change after the due date discussions we use a website called Piazza to conduct small group discussions okay I will place you into a small group of students and each week I assign the group problems from homework or the review to post each week after week one one student is designated to lead the discussion. Okay, I set that leadership role in week one so that you know um, when you'll be the leader. Um, and there is some more information in Blackboard. Initial discussion post, you will receive an assigned problem, are due by Thursday, and you have to post two follow ups by Saturday. Okay, um, and I give more. Um, clarity on what I'm expecting from Piazza discussion posts in Blackboard. So look there under start here, the week zero, and you'll see that. 
Also, I ask you to turn in a written assignment to you. That's usually two to three problems that you just solve by hand. It's so that I can see the work that you've been doing. They're similar problems to the problems that you'll see on the exam. Exams in this class are um, open response or um, like free response. There's no multiple choice. So, um, and I give you written feedback or like feedback on what you have turned into me. Those are all due by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. You have to upload your um, work in a single PDF file. I don't accept JPEG images. I don't accept Word documents. There's also instructions under um, the Blackboard about how to create those PDF files. If you have questions, let me know. Exams three term exams and one comprehensive final exam. There are no makeup exams, but your lowest exam grade can be replaced by your percentage on the final. It only places one exam, so if you miss more than one exam, you have a zero on the exam. Okay. Um, again, more stuff here. There is a math tutoring center in the Johnson Center, room 344. Um, there's a walk, it, it's a walk-in basis. Um, I take academic honesty seriously and I ask you to sign an academic honesty statement before every single exam so you can expect that. Please be doing your own work in this class. Um, and the other stuff, if you have a learning difference, you need to be registered with ODS and then get in touch with me about what um, they, what conclusions they have come to. Um, also, even if you're in an online class, George Mason has a ton of um, services available, including counseling and psychological services. The Office of Student Services um, has a lot of things to offer you, so please don't, um, please don't um, avoid those or make use of those if you need to. Um, so here is the schedule. The last page of the syllabus is the schedule for fall 2014. Weeks run from Sunday to Saturday in this course, and each week has ungraded assignments, all those video lectures and homework problems, and then typically three graded assignments. Um, and here are due dates, and then here is the basic class structure and what you should expect. Okay, I want to go back to our I want to go to our Blackboard show. And so here when you see me talk about the XYZ homework, here under Start Here you'll see all the detailed information about how to sign up for that. Okay, so in the syllabus where it talked about written work, here's the detailed information about how to do that. There's a practice problem under Week 0 so you can practice downloading and uploading a PDF or creating a PDF file. Here, there's here's the practice problem. There, and also instructions. Oh yeah, okay. I don't. I also instructions on how to sign up for Piazza, which is the discussion board. And again, more information. Here's the, uh, the video Piazza introduction, and the PDF shortcuts on for posting. So. You can please take a look. There's a ton of information here in week zero under this start here. Okay. The rest of this stuff here, for example, you'll see links to XYZ homework and to Piazza. Um, here under videos, assignments, and more, you'll see the bulk of the material. And this will be the starting page after beginning with week one. So after week zero, you'll see this. So here, each week, you'll go to the appropriate week, and you'll see that the structure is pretty much the same each week. I give you a weekly overview about what you'll be doing. And then under here are the, is the actual content. So for example, in week one, we do review. Here's exponents. Here's a link to my video on exponents. Um, there's a handout on exponents um, that's full of problems, so if you click here, here are some math problems that I expect you to do. And then some extra links for more help.
So you'll see these, all of these are things that, videos that you need to watch and homework assignments. At the bottom here you'll see the week one written work. So that's one of your graded assignments this week. So here it is. Cancel. And the other graded assignments are in XYZ and Piazza. Uh, the other links over here, your grades are posted all in Blackboard. I try to keep the gradebook up to date. Um, I do post announcements and also send those out via email so you can find those there if you miss something and a link for online office hours. Okay. Okay, it should be a great semester. Um, please let me know if you have questions about anything.